Hello everybody, thank you very much for joining us. I'm Philip Duncan. We're tracking two systems. One is small, one is big. The small one is a low that's going to form this weekend around the upper North Island. But the more important one is a system that's coming through next week. It's a major southerly blast straight from Antarctica and the lower half of the South Island. While next week is officially spring, no matter how you slice it and dice it, you've got winter weather on the way. So let's get into it. And with the animated wind map, you can see that low just to the north. It's driving in the easterly around the eastern side of the North Island. A little bit cloudy elsewhere, but it's still dry and sunny and beautiful down in Wellington and fairly mild in the lower South Island where it is much warmer than average thanks to these nor'westers. Once we get to Friday, the winds actually turn southerly. Now you straight away would think that would be cold. And it is a little cooler than it was for Thursday, but it's only a little bit because it's not a real southerly. By that I mean it's really a westerly that comes along and turns right at the last minute as a southerly, so it's not brutally cold. That's coming next week. In the meantime, this area of rain or showers just west of the North Island will slowly drift into the upper North Island by Friday evening. And by Saturday lunchtime, you've got a, a large area of weak low air pressure. It's only just a low. So therefore, you've got a few showers, drizzle patches coming down into Hawke's Bay, a bit of cloud around the north. Nothing too major, but it's just a little bit cloudy, a little bit windy, and a few showers here and there. But once you get to the lower North Island southwards, it is dry and fairly mild as well. And in fact, on Sunday, it's another fairly mild day because it, it's a bit windy. So you'll find the winds picking up around the South Island, but later on, there comes the cold front. So while most places are dry on Sunday and the low that developed on Saturday moves away as well, and weakens and pretty much disappears. It's what's coming next week that's really the most important. So on Monday, you'll see that change coming in. The whole country has a switch to southwesters, and by Monday night, it will be cooler in most regions, even around the upper North Island. It won't be freezing up there, but it'll just be a, a little bit cooler from your mild, perhaps, air flows over the last few days. Further south, snow showers start to form. And while this southerly, again, isn't one that just goes straight down the map, it sort of does. If you track the origins of these isobars, they do end up disappearing off the screen to the south, whereas a few days earlier, they were coming from just out of Australia. So the wind directions aren't really the main factor. It's really where the airflow is coming from. And when we get to Tuesday, look at this. Here is New Zealand. This is this big low down in the Southern Ocean, a big high near Tasmania, which pushes down. And the further those highs go south, the more they can scoop up all that cold air down near Antarctica. The other thing I want to point out with this big cold wind flow is how far these southerlies go. They go right down into Antarctica itself. So this is coming up and just coming into the lower South Island. Further north, the isobars are further out. And when you track their origins, most of them aren't quite so bad. But certainly Tuesday, and especially Wednesday, next week, look very cold. Look at this, this is the coldest portion of the airflow coming up. Here's the lower South Island, and that's right amongst it. The further north you go, the warmer it gets. So it's a pretty simple equation. The further south you go, the colder it gets, and therefore, the higher chances there are of snow and um, miserable weather, the, the misery index, which is basically the wind chill, is going to be extreme next week. So for newborn lambs, newborn stock, this is a serious event. Hopefully you get enough warning and you can put them into some sheltered areas and hopefully it's not going to be too bad. But it is one to keep an eye on as winter makes perhaps one last sort of desperate attempt to be relevant. That is all from me for now. We'll update you again about all of this on Friday.